John, there is something about your music. And I finally discovered it after all the times you've come here. You do sexy things. Thank you very much. I mean, that, that's mm, romantic music. Are you a romantic individual? I believe in love. I think love is very important in everything. Yeah, amen. I love my work, and I seem to feel it by loving it. Yeah, know? it just comes out. It feels real good. I said earlier I wanted to embarrass you because I would like you to name drop over the years. Would you just think of 10 or 12 people you've worked with, produced, uh, sung with, written for, whatever? Diana Ross and the Supremes, Gladys Knight and the Pips, Junior Walker and the All Stars, David Ruffin, Edwin Starr, oh, wait. Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell. Stop, 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 stop. Any more? Uh, Johnny Mathis, uh, Tom Jones. <laughs> all right, all right. Boss Stop. <laughs> Boss Skaggs? Yes, 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 I did. All right, another? Boss's album, uh, Slow Dancer. I, I said nice things about you out front because I, I, I believe in that and I mean it sincerely. And this is the toughest question you'll probably ever answer. Who was one of the most exhilarating or fun people or enjoyable that you worked with? I would have to say working with Tammy Terrell and Marvin Gaye. Yeah. That was so much fun. Uh, some of these uh, younger folks here don't know that Tammy passed away. She was a lovely lady. She was a very beautiful lady with personality and very friendly and warm. And when she walked in the studio, she was always up, never down. You know, she was ready. That makes work fun. Oh, it's fantastic. What was the lowest point of your career? We talk about the good times. Everybody's had bad times. I think when I started singing a, with a duet, and we worked in the Bloody Corner and all the way The what? Bloody Corner. That was the name of the joint that you worked in? That was the name in? of the joint, right? <laughs> Where they throw guys through the window, right? <laughs> Did you ever, on one of those nights, as he sailed out onto the street, think oh, that serious? I picked the wrong line of work? Oh, frightened me one night. A guy walked up and says, I'll see you after the show. So I said, okay. <laughs> well, you, you had a partner, though. At Jackie, least, Jackie at least you had somebody to lean on. But do you sympathize with the Beatles breaking up the Everly Brothers can't work together, this one and that one? I think it's all a creative uh, release that a person has to have. It's freedom. It's nothing personal when people break up. Uh, I can't have a partner again because I'm so used to doing things my way with my own mental and physical interpretation of it. That's the way you like so, it? Yeah, it's a little difficult to communicate with someone else about something creative from the unknown, you know? It's, so you want that freedom to do it. I gotta let you do it all by yourself right now and steal the chair. And if you'll stand up, I'll give you one more introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Johnny Bristol. <laughs> 